This week on our Winthrop Spotlight segment, we explore the responsibilities of the Dean of Libraries and his important role in Winthrop's recovery after the fire in Owens. Earlier, I sat down with the Dean to discuss it all. First of all, I'd like to thank you for being here with us at Winthrop Close Up. Um, I would just like to ask you, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Winthrop and um, I don't know what your title entails. Uh, my name is Mark Herring. I'm Dean of Library Services and I oversee all of the libraries at Winthrop. We do uh, sort of the things that you would expect. We oversee the main Dacus Library branch. We also uh, I also oversee the archives, which is in the basement of the library. And then we have a tangential um, oversight for the ITC, which is in Withers, and also the music library uh, in the um, music building. And provide some services for those, and particularly cataloging and some acquisitions. Okay, so you're over a great deal of different parts in the campus. How long have you been um, at Winthrop doing what you do? I started in 1999. I came from a library in Oklahoma, and we moved here in 99, and I've been here uh, since then. Enjoyed myself a great deal. It's been a great opportunity, and really like what I do. Uh, one of the things we've done recently was uh, do some salvage materials for the Owens Fire. It's not exactly something that you uh, expect to do when you get into this work, but you take training in it in unlikelihood that something like that will occur, and of course it did. So uh, most people are not aware that the, the biggest part of the damage that occurs in something like that is water damage. It's not typically fire. If fire consumes everything, there's nothing to salvage. So what typically happens is the water and smoke damages most of the materials. We were able to save about 80% of the materials without a great deal of effort. About 10% we had to spend quite a bit of time trying to salvage those. We can't remediate anything. We don't have the capabilities of doing that, but we were able to take those materials to an off-site location and do what we could to prevent further deterioration. All right, so I was going to ask you about that, but also how did you restore, I mean, how, or were you actually restoring or can you explain how? The well, we remediate and try to prevent further damage. Once something gets wet, uh, you have to act really quickly, typically within 48 hours. And what, what is supposed to happen is you get the materials, you bag each one individually in something like a Glad bag and put it in a freezer container like a refrigerator truck uh, after they've been in there for about uh, 48 hours or so. You're, you can start taking them out, getting them acclimated to where they're going to go, uh, where they're going to be housed from oh. then on. And then some materials, once they thaw, if they're water sogged, once they thaw, uh, it's a process of uh, taking each page and drying each page individually. Wow. So this can be a, a very time consuming process. And I think what <laughs> most people are unaware of is that when you have a case like that, you really have to have an enormous amount of space uh, to spread everything out. The biggest thing that helps ma damage material like that is air and right. okay. uh, circulating air and having uh, relative humidity and also temperature to be about the same in the 65 degree range uh, for temperature and letting them air dry. Now the, the problem that occurs after that is the materials are not going to look the same uh, that's but a problem lose, of restoration, you that. Wow. but well, you still have the text. Okay, so and that yeah, that's the main the main thing right. you were trying to save. So I guess you'd never thought you'd be really doing that, but that's amazing. So your job is definitely from very high up onto the library thing to all the way down to just salvaging the. Uh, to the real nitty gritty yeah. of stuff. Well, thank you so much for having um, letting us talk to you on the show. Yeah, all right, very good to meet thank you for inviting me. Every week we feature a new guest on Winthrop Spotlight.